Hello everyone, in this video we are going to install TrioFox on a clean Windows Server virtual machine. First you need to sign up for a free TrioFox account. Go ahead and sign up. Once you have an account, you'll be taken into my TrioFox portal dashboard where you can download the TrioFox installer. Go ahead and run the installer. Click next on the installation wizard page. Accept the license agreement and click next. Stay with the default location and click next. Click install on the installation summary page. TrioFox installer will install all the prerequisites. TrioFox server is built on top of Microsoft Web Platform. Hence, it integrates very well with other Microsoft components such as NTFS permissions on files and folders, Active Directory users, and file server network shares. Once the installation is finished, you'll be prompted to reboot the server. When you see the prompt, go ahead with the reboot. After the reboot, TrioFox will launch the default browser and it will go to the configuration page. Here we will stay with the default all-in-one database and click on apply. TrioFox will start the configuration which includes creating the default database. After the initial configuration, it will display a page to enter the default administrator account details. Go ahead and enter the default admin email and password and then accept the terms of service and click continue. Next step is to integrate TrioFox with your Active Directory environment. Enter your domain controller address along with domain administrator account details and click continue. TrioFox will run the discovery to find the servers in your network. After the discovery, it will list all the servers discovered in your network along with your file servers. Browse to one of your file servers and enter the authentication details. TrioFox will discover the shares on the selected file server which you can choose and provide remote access to the users. You can then add users who need access to the shares. Thank you for watching this video.